Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nishita Yadav. And for today's video, we're going to learn chapter matter in our surrounding. So this is the part four of this chapter. If you have not watched the other three parts, then the link is down in the description. You can go and watch those parts first. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So we already know about the three state of matter. Now let's see how to change the state of the matter from one state to another. So let's do an experiment. So for the experiment, we take a container under any type of flame and put ice into that container. And also we put the thermometer to know the temperature of what is there in the container. So now the ice was on fire, means the ice was in container and that container was on fire. And you see temperature start rising. It stopped at a point of time and you mark that point on that thermometer and that was 0 degree Celsius. So as the temperature was rising, you see at 0 degree Celsius that the ice was converted or ice was melting slowly into water. Now when this ice was converted into water, the temperature was not increasing for a while. And again after a bit, it started increasing and the water inside the container starts boiling and the water starts vanishing. Now, what you observe here, that earlier we were having ice, then after heating it, we got water, and then more heating, we got those fumes going up. So we started off as solid, that was ice, become liquid, that was water, become gas, that was those fumes going up. And in all this process, temperature stopped two times and this shows us that matter can change its state now if we look at it more closely if we observe it more closely we see that our first process that was melting as we took our first example that was when the ice was converted into water on melting earlier when the ice was not melted the particles between those ice was tightly packed and when the temperature went to 273 kelvin or Nowadays or in our daily life, we use it 0 degrees Celsius. The movement between these particles increases and they move here and there. That is called melting. And when this process of melting happens, the particles are loosely pegged. Now let's look at few terms that is from this chapter. And we have to remember these terms here. So the first one is melting point. So this means that when any solid object turns into liquid in its, its atmospheric temperature means when we boil it or when it is melted somehow it comes into liquid the solid comes into liquid this is called its melting point at that temperature that temperature particular temperature is called as its melting point for example when we see our first example that was converting ice into water that the temperature its melting point the ice melting point is zero degrees celsius right so our next term is boiling point so unlike melting point this changes liquid to gas on atmospheric temperature and difference between these two is that the melting point is for solid to liquid and boiling point it is for liquid to gas So our first question is that when ice cubes are heated, the temperature blank when the melting point is reached. So here we have option, three options we are having here. The first one is remains constant, second one is decreases and the third one is increases. So we have already started that whenever any object reaches its melting point, the temperature remains constant for a little while or for a bit. So here our first option that is remains constant is correct. So our next and the final question is that the temperature at which water gets converted to steam is known as its blank. And the option here are A boiling point, B freezing point, C melting point. So here as we know water is converting into steam. So water is a liquid and steam is a gaseous form. So whenever this comes, you have to first of all make that object into its state form. Then you have to classify them. So melting point is for solid to liquid and the boiling point is for 
liquid to gas. So here our first option that is boiling point is correct. So guys that was it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video and the next part is coming soon of this chapter. So yeah, like, share, subscribe. Meet you in the next part soon. Till then bye bye. Take care. Bye.